There are many hotel websites that allow you to compare many different hotel prices that are in different cities all around the world. We are Parsub, and today we'll show you how you can scrape a hotel website like Booking.com to export data like hotel name, rating, number of reviews, and price. So let's get started. While there are several web scraping tools, we think you'll enjoy Parsub. It's free to use and has a suite of features like IP rotation, scheduling, cloud-based scraping, and many more. The download link is in the description. For this example, we're going to extract hotel data from Booking.com and see available hotels in Toronto. Once Parsub is open, click on New Project and use the URL from Travago.com results page. The page will now render inside the app. Start by clicking on the first name of the hotel name on the list. It will be highlighted in green to indicate it has been selected. On the left sidebar, rename your selection to hotel name. Parsub will now suggest the other data you want to extract in yellow. Click on the second hotel on the list to select them all. All hotels on the first page will be highlighted in green now. You are now collecting the name and URL listing for each hotel. Now I'll extract data like price, number of views, and rating. To do this, you'll need to do a relative select command. Start by clicking the plus sign next to your hotel selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the first hotel that is highlighted in orange, then on its price. An arrow will appear to show the association you're creating. You might need to repeat this process for another hotel to fully train the scraper. On the left sidebar, rename your selection to Price. Repeat the previous two steps to pull more data for each hotel to extract the data you want. We're going to extract number of views and rating. Your project should look like this. If we were to start our project, we would only extract the first page of hotels. We'll now teach you how to add pagination to your web scraping project. Click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the select command. Using the select command, scroll all the way down to the page link. Click on it, select it, and rename your selection to next button. Click on the icon next to your next button selection to expand it. Delete the command under the next selection. Click on the plus sign next to your next selection and add a click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is the next page link. Click on yes and enter the number of times you'd like to repeat this process. In this case, we'll repeat it two times. It's now time to run your scrape. To do this, click on the green get data button on the left sidebar. Here you're able to test, schedule, or run your scrape job. For larger projects, we recommend that you always test your job before running it. In this case, we'll run it right away. Once your run is completed, you'll be able to download as an Excel or JSON file. If your web scraping project comes back blank, you may need to enable IP rotation. If you're getting blocked, let's show you how you can enable IP rotation. Note, if you do enable IP rotation, your project will take longer to complete. Click on the gear icon, then select settings. Click on rotate IP address. A pop-up will appear with a warning about your run speed. Click on OK. Now run your project as normal. Now you know how to scrape hotel data and export it to an Excel or JSON file. We understand that web scraping projects can get quite complicated. If you run into any problems or have any questions, you can contact our customer support team using our live chat where we'll be more than happy to assist you. If you're looking for a reliable web scraping service, then Parsub Plus is the best choice. Check out our web scraping service and book a call to talk to us. We offer one-on-one -on -one support with the same staff that build and maintain the Parsub web scraper. Thank you for watching this video. Check us out at parsub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet. Happy scraping!